Hello and welcome back to another episode in our series in which we are discussing all the desktop environments that are available on ArchLinux and to install all of them we are using the desktop environment page on the ArchWiki and we go to this officially supported list and we go through this in alphabetical order so after Mate desktop today we are looking at Sugar which is a little different than all the other desktop environment we've uh, looked at before because this is mostly for an educational purpose so this is not to provide you the same kind of desktop environment experience or the type of desktop environment experience that you would generally expect but more uh, about providing an experience where you can easily access educational tools and sugar in general comes as its own operating system but can also be uh, downloaded to most of the uh, Linux based operating systems it's available on Fedora, Debian, Ubuntu and many other distros so here we are going to take a look at how the implementation works on Arch Linux and uh, for that we will have to install the Sugar package which will contain the core system that will only provide the very minimal interface and the desktop session but not very useful in its own while the sugar fructose group will contain all the basics that we will have to have to be able to utilize this uh, desktop environment and then there is also an activity library which would contain all the educational tools for this desktop environment but uh, well these bundles can be downloaded and installed from Sugar directly, but uh, the dependencies might have some issues. But if we take a look at uh, the uh, Sugar website, then you can see that some of the activities will be available through the FlatHub as a flat pack for those people who like to install things in these universal uh, distro agnostic uh, formats. So. Now that we know what we have to install, let's go to our terminal and let's do sudo pacman-s sugar, sugar I guess that's the correct pronunciation. So let's see how much it takes for our system to install this for us. Well, it will be only 79 megabytes downloaded, so I guess this will be a quick install, but let's uh, keep in mind that this is only going to provide us with the very minimal of uh, what we need to run sugar but we'll take a look at it and then we will install the base activities to have a more complete view of this desktop environment so i booted into the sugar session and now this is telling me to click to change color oh i guess it's just not getting better <laughs> am i right so it was a nice color okay let's keep it this way we can go click on next Select grade. All right. So I guess uh, I am going to be adult here. So let's do that and let's see what it's going to load up for my adult brain. So what we seem to be having here is uh, this menu in the middle, which is shut down, restart, logout, my settings. I guess I can uh, change some things about my computer some information background so we could change the background to something else we could uh, have a system backup system time frame what is this activation delay instantaneous so this is kind of a look and feel uh, keyboard settings i guess can we so yeah the keyboard layout and the keys to change layout we would only have one layout so that's fine uh, language well this is in American English that's fine I guess we could change our internet settings I guess if we had one but it seems like oh yeah okay so this is a virtual machine so yeah we are not using a modem actually but networking you could set up so everything is in here no web services are installed currently so you could change the basic settings you want to have here and um, what else you can register I guess your copy of sugar 
Oh, searching for your school server. Okay, so we don't have a school server here. So I hope yeah, this does not break everything. Okay, so registration failed, of course. We have this uh, menu icon here, hamburger menu icon here, which is a list view, which lists nothing at the moment. And this is our favorites view, which only has our main menu and this journal button over here for which uh, we could check the contents of our journal and which is of course empty. The documents folder is also empty. So basically we can have like a journal system here, but I am kind of unsure about if we can actually do something because, well, create project seems to be not working. Oh, wait, what? Add new. No? All right. It does not seem to be working. And um, I guess F5 was what was Alt F5? What was the key combination that was uh, we were told? Uh, but anyways, there is no way I can find here to close the journal. So I guess for me to be able to install all the other things that the Archwiki was suggesting me, I will have to probably forcefully uh, close or restart this uh, virtual machine. So according to the ArchWiki here, we need the sugar fructose group to have anything useful in our sugar desktop environment. So, oh, 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 no. I want to go here. sudo pacman s sugar dash fructose. And let's see how many things are in this. Browse, calculate, chat, clock, image viewer, jukebox, log, paint, pp. Okay, so let's uh, just install everything, of course. And hopefully, oh, this has a terminal in it, which is uh, good. Turtle art, I guess that's going to be. Turtle, turtle is kind of a way to learn programming, I guess. So we'll see what it is once it's installed and I will boot into the sugar desktop. All right, so it seems like we have installed a few things. For example, write. We can start a new, I don't know, writing project, I guess. So this looks like a very basic uh, editor, but well, we can increase the font size here. Can we just, yeah, we can just type in here. So something like this. Okay. Can we, we can also insert images or tables. We can format the paragraph. Okay. So this looks like a very simple, uh, what is it? Word processor we have here. And we could, maybe I can just put it in the middle, yeah. I mean, justify center, great. Then we can press this button up there, and, uh, well, I guess if I open the writer, will I be able to open my previous things? Rich text, plain text, I guess, description. Where is open and close, open and, I don't know. I have no idea how to open, like if I want to open a previous one, do I have to go to the journal or something? I don't know. Let's take a look at some other things. Calculator, so everyone knows how much I hate these kind of calculators. If you're watching this channel, why would you ever want to click with your mouse on buttons that appear on the screen when you can just type, which um, the numpad does not work here. So you are even, if you want to use your keyboard, you are forced to type on the regular keyboard, not even the numpad. But let's see. Yeah, not even the other things work. And my numpad is on because I can enter things on my numpad to the label over there. So what happens if I do this? What? Oh, the label appears here on the left and then the calculation there. So if I say three, 
minus 2 times 2. That's minus 1. That's good. At least it knows the pre precedence of <laughs> things. And what else do we have here? What I, the other thing I need to be sure of if I can multiply with negative numbers here. And it seems like I can. So that is a nice. And this is not a calculator review. So let's just uh, close this. So chat, what is the chat application going to be doing here? So I guess you must be connected to a friend before starting to chat. So I guess you will have to, I don't know, find uh, friends on your school network. Maybe to, for this to work, I guess this is uh, some sugar specific thing by the looks of it. What is this, a clock? So we have a clock. Okay, so this way you can learn how the clock works, I guess. Change the clock face. Change it to a... What is this? <laughs> Let's uh, go through. This is, I guess, a drawing program. And, uh, well, this is what you have to do when you and open a drawing program. Put on, like, huge... Why are, are these stars six-point weird stars? Anyway, arrows. Oh, you can actually turn the arrows. That's very neat. That's more than uh, Microsoft's programs can do with arrows. <laughs> okay. Let's close this, whatever this was. Snake. What is this snake with a house? Oh, is it Python? Okay, let's see if it's Python. For i in a range for... We need, I guess... I can run this. Oh yes, this is Python, I guess. <laughs> okay, this is neat to have like a Python interpreter built in Sugar. And Turtle, it is, I guess, a Turtle programming thing where you can instruct the movements of a turtle by adding in this, basically move your turtle and we'll create the drawing. So move forward and then turn left and then move forward and then turn right which is i don't know if this what it's doing or no it turns right first sorry so it's moving from top to bottom i guess it turns right moves forward turns left and moves forward yep all right so this is kind of the turtle thing you could uh, use this as a tool to learn programming so these are i guess the tools that you can get except we did not click on this one so the internet browser here. I think we missed it. So it will bring us to a kind of custom start page where you can go to either the Sugar Labs website or you can go to the Sugar Labs wiki if you want to learn more about how to use uh, this system. So you can read about the concepts used in this uh, desktop environment for example, why do they use activities instead of uh, applications and uh, things like that. So you can, I guess, go through this wiki if you're interested. And there is a list view here which will list all the applications. So you can see that in this uh, window you only see the applications or activities rather that have got the little star over there. So if you want to use the... Um, Terminal, for example, you have to go here and, well, I guess we don't have NeoFetch installed, so... But we can get a uname, I guess. So you can see this is a terminal program, and I guess we can switch to dark mode if you're really <laughs> frustrated by the light mode terminal. System log, this will give us all the system log files. And we got a lot of error messages here. So, I, my guess is that uh, some of the implementations are not really uh, well done for Archonix because uh, reading the documentation, which I read a little, 
while uh, before in the time zone that recording was stopped is that in this journal entries, in the journal contents, we should see all the things that we were doing. So we were trying out all these different programs and the uh, things that we did in those programs should appear here, but they do not. And by taking a look at the system look just before, there might be some kind of implementation detail, maybe Arch Linux specific, maybe this is just like a buggy version that's being pulled into the repos for some reason. But in any case, so the sugar platforms, one of the main things should, should be this journal where you can go back and check out on your previous activities and that definitely does not work. So if you have any idea how to solve this, you know, leave it down in the comment section. I, in the brief time I spent looking at this uh, desktop environment, I could not find, unfortunately, any information on this one. So I guess this is how I will have to end this video, this very disappointing end by saying that this seems to be an interesting platform for learning and education, but maybe it is not really the best idea to use it on Arch Linux. Maybe you should use the um, their, their uh, own system that you can launch from a USB drive, for example. But in any case, uh, this is the end of the video. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, you can always leave those things down in the comment section and you should subscribe for more content which is coming your way. So there are a few more desktop environments left, but on this channel we don't just have desktop environments. We are talking about everything that I feel like, including, uh, which is mostly free software, but I also stream sometimes. Anyways, you know what's on this channel. Uh, subscribe for more. Bye.